What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Temple Arts. This video is a collaboration with TechCow, maybe a video will be on his channel tomorrow, I'm not sure if he's going to upload it. But he did say in Twitter DMs that I could upload this video, I'm trying to get him to 2k so the channel link will be down below. Tell him on his new video that I sent you with the hashtag Tempo sent me. And yeah, he would appreciate that guys, peace out guys, like and subscribe. Do you want to win a Cooler Master Devastator 2 keyboard and mouse combo? Make sure you leave a like on this video and you can enter the giveaway through the Gleam link in the description. Hey, what is going on you guys? And today I'm going to be bringing you a $250 build. Now this one is meant to replace my $200 build that I did a while back. And also, Ryzen 3 is going to be releasing on the 27th. So be looking forward to a commentary about that. I'm actually very excited for Ryzen 3. I've been talking about it for months. But without further ado, let's get right into the build. So for this build, I really wanted to change things up, and you're going to see what I mean by that when you get to the end of the video. But to start it off, I went with the GT1030. Now you can pick up the Gigabyte version for $69.99, which isn't too bad of a price, but it's literally the only graphics card under $100 that's actually worth it. You can expect performance slightly below a 750 Ti, I'd say more around the regular GTX 750 level. But for such a low budget, and with the amount of performance you're getting, it's not a bad price at all. It's actually very good because in the past you used to get really shitty cards like the GT730 for the same price. They were actually more around 70 to 80 for a way weaker card. So the GT1030, it was a nice move by Nvidia. It's not the best card for the money, but if you're really on a tight budget, it's a great option. Next up we have the Athlon 860K CPU. Now the reason I went with this older FM2 platform is because for the budget, you can pick up the 860K which is a 4GHz quad core CPU for only $54.99 which is an excellent price. And it also overclocks pretty decently so that's also a plus. The 860K is really the only CPU worth buying for the FM2 platform uh, unless you're in the market for an APU or something like that. And that's really the only reason FM2 is still around today and it's really a solid option for a tight entry level gaming PC. But to couple our 860K, we went with an MSI A68 motherboard. Now it's nothing crazy by today's standards, but when you're building a system on this kind of a budget, you have to make sacrifices and put most of your money towards the graphics card and the processor. Now it only supports up to 32 gigabytes of 2133 MHz DDR3 memory, but I personally wouldn't want to upgrade it past 8 gigabytes of RAM, just leave it at that. But for the RAM, I came across an excellent deal on some DDR3 memory. For only 23 bucks, you can get a 4GB stick of 1600MHz memory from ATEC. Now, they're not a huge name brand, but they do make solid budget memory, and like I said before, we had to make cuts and save every dollar that we could for this build. Second to last with the hard drive, I went with the typical 500GB Seagate pipeline which I usually use for my really budget systems because you don't want to go lower than 500GB and every other 500GB drive out there is like $30 and up which is just a ripoff, whereas you can find these Seagate pipelines for like $25 flat. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you were going to run into something interesting near the end, so for the case, this is where things get interesting. The total cost already comes out to $249, which left me with no money for the case and I really didn't want to sacrifice any more performance for the build. So what you're going to want to do is actually get a piece of wood, and all you have to do is just find any old square piece of wood, you can cut it down, and it's really easy to screw a motherboard into it. So this is actually going to be an open PC, just sitting out on its own pretty much. Now for the power supply, you can just use like a velcro strip or something, and just velcro the power supply onto the board also. Now it looks very ghetto and I can understand if some people don't like it, I'm also going to link the cheap $25 Rosewell case in the description. I just thought for the sake of the video and to keep the cost under $250 that we'd make it a little fun and just not use a case at all. Now this is actually more common than you think, a lot of people use open air PCs or they wall mount their PCs except in a nicer fashion not just an old piece of plywood or whatever. But I thought I'd change it up a little bit for this build, and that does wrap it up. But you can expect to be playing modern games at low to medium settings, 30 to 60 FPS, it really depends. Uh, a system like this is going to play Fallout 4 around 45 FPS and medium settings at 900p. Competitive games like CSGO, League of Legends, Overwatch, they're not going to have any problem playing at solid settings, 1080p, 60 FPS. But this was definitely a more interesting build list, and I would like to know if any of you actually do build this without a case, that'd be very interesting, and I'd like to see some photos or DM me about it. Now I would just like to end this video with a quick message from our sponsors. 
So this company Clearance UK reached out to me about a partnership. I told them I'd see what their store is all about. Now they were selling Windows 10 for 10 pounds. That's 32 or 64 bit Microsoft Office for 10 pounds and just a bunch of other software. And for you guys, these would be very useful in particular due to the style of videos that I make. And I do get a lot of questions about why I don't include an OS. So for anybody living in the UK, my sponsor here has a bunch of solid deals for you. I've had several people order from them. They have a 95% positive rating and overall they're just a really good key retailer. So check them out, tell them I sent you if you order anything, and thank you for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.